what's up tribe how you guys doing go ahead and hit that subscribe button and i hope you like this video this is going to be your retro review of the real housewives of new jersey season two episode 15 we are almost done there's one more episode after this and then the two-part reunion and then we'll be in season three and i think somebody just dropped in my inbox that uh danielle is not on season three she comes back after Teresa gets home from jail child which i'm sure I'm, I'm sure that was a whole situation. But anyway, let me just go ahead and knock Danielle's storyline out the way for this episode. While everybody is over in um, Italy, Danielle is looking for her her birth mama, okay? The whole episode, we see her and Danny. Danny takes her out to lunch and lets her know that they're in Italy. And she's like, what? What? They're in Italy. So, child, somebody, I guess nobody told her she was in Italy. They was in Italy. I'm sure she knew. She was just pretending like she didn't know, child. I'm sure she knew their asses was in Italy. <coughs> excuse me then we see them meet with a private detective um we see them meet with a, a private detective where she gives her information and we find out that you know her mom was a minor and so forth and he said listen this might take a long time it might take a little bit of time but you know and she said well i've waited for 47 years or 40 however many years i can wait you know if it takes me 10 years it just takes me 10 years um, late and at the end of the episode we find out that because her mom was a minor there's a lot more paperwork that has to happen they had to write a letter to the court and basically you know it's up to the court whether they're going to grant them access to the adoption information so that's Danielle's storyline child and I feel like that storyline don't get resolved in one more episode but we'll find out next episode now while that's going on the rest of the crew is over in um Chaldea in um Naples and they spent the night in Naples. They went out to dinner. You know, they checked into the hotel and everything. The kids are playing in the bidet, child. Um, and they um, they um, go out to dinner to, like, um, one of the best restaurants in um, Naples. And Joe was letting them know basically what the next day is going to entail. And he was talking about how his family lives up on a hill and how there's a lot of walking and there's just they got to go up this hill. And so Jacqueline is like, okay, maybe we need to, maybe we need to come up with an action plan because we have little kids and we have older people. Maybe we need to come up with another plan for them because that sounds like it's going to be a lot. Now Teresa's attitude is, well, they have old people and kids here in Vin um, over here, and they walk up and down that hill fine. And Joe was like, yeah, my grandmother walks up and down that hill every day. But here's the thing, I understand that, and those are valid points. But when you live there and that's all you've ever known, your body is already conditioned to it and it's different. Your grandmother walking up and down that hill, because she's been walking up and down that hill her whole life. She don't know no different. If you ain't never walked up that hill and that's not your normal everyday situation, that's a whole nother conversation. So Jackie being smart, the kids, um, um, they kept them back. Her parents, like the older, the parents, jo, Joe's parents went, I believe, because of course that's their hometown. Maybe Teresa's mom, dad went too. But um, Carolyn's um, parents and Jacqueline's mom, they stayed at the hotel with the babies, like Adriana and their CJ. Uh, not CJ, but their, their younger, I think it's Dylan. I don't know. Baby, Joe got on that bus that next day and baby, he was complaining about that bill that bill was like twenty two hundred dollars he said between the three rooms and the, the mini bar and the drinks and uh, baby when i say he complained and he complained and he complained and listen from my experience and i've been guilty when you complain that much about a bill that's because you spent more than you thought you was gonna spend or more than you wanted to spend or more than you should have spent and again remember that's been this whole running thing for the last couple of episodes about joe and his money flow Baby, when I say he complained about that bill, I mean, of course, the way they edited it, it looked like he complained forever. Um, but to the point where it probably made the whole bus uncomfortable. Because you're literally sitting there listening to this man complain about the hotel bill in front of his parents who he covered their bill, Teresa's parents. Like, I'm sure it made everybody uncomfortable. But anyway, they riding on this bus, child. Then they get as far as the bus will take them, and they have to walk. And Again, with editing, I don't know how long they was walking, but I feel like they was walking for about an hour, okay? And Teresa got on heels. Everybody else got on flats, sneakers, 
whatever. They got a stroller. They pushing the stroller up this hill. Um, but they finally get to the top of the hill, child. And it's really nice. Like, you get to meet all of their family. And Carolyn said, you know, she feels she feels really bad that she never learned Italian. She said when her parents came over, they didn't teach them Italian because they wanted them to be Americanized. They didn't want them to work um, to, um, talking Italian. But, of course, Joe was born in Italy, so he speaks Italian. And Teresa said that she didn't start speaking English until she went to school, until she started kindergarten. So she speaks Italian. Um... And so I think Carolyn feels feels a little out of place because it's like I'm, you know, this is my heritage too, but I don't, I'm not as connected as they are. I think that might be a little how she felt. Um, but it was a good time. They met a lot of people, child. They was hugging and kissing, kissing and hugging, hugging and kissing. It was a beautiful views. They were at the top of this mountain. Um, Joe showed them around, and his his, you know, you could tell that he was happy to be there. You know, his attitude changed a little bit once he got, you know, he saw his grandmother and, you know, all of that good stuff. <laughs> so they had a great time, right? They had a really good time. Um, and then later on that night, they had a dinner where Teresa being Teresa child got all the babies. Cause, cause of course, um, Adriana didn't walk to the top of the hill. I mean, she was an infant. She didn't go to the top of the hill. So they had dinner for everybody that night where, um, Teresa had all the girls in these color coordinated dresses where everybody, uh, for her family to be able to meet Adriana. Um, and it was nice. I mean, they definitely had a good time. And they talked about how they were family. They were bonded. You know, this experience bonded them. How they were family now. And I hate, again, I don't know what happened. Don't spoil it for me, y'all. I don't know why they fell out. But seeing this, I feel bad that they fell out. I mean, Carolyn even said, I will protect this bond. Like, this is a bond and I will protect it to the end. And I just, I don't know what happened. I'll wait and get to that. But I hate that they fell out. I hate that they're not friends anymore. Um, I'm sure it's Teresa's fault, child. <laughs> Y'all know I just want to blame Teresa, child. It's probably Teresa's fault. But anyway, um, and then, child, they came on back home. And everybody is tired and exhausted. But it was a beautiful trip, you know. Um... And then, like I said, we're going to get into this final episode where it looks like Carolyn is going to have a showdown with Danielle once and for all, child. Anyway, let me know what you guys think. I will talk to y'all later. Peace.